In this video, I'm going to show you how to make shiny 3D text effects in Photoshop. Let's go! So before we get started, let me remind you, if you're looking for new tips, tricks, hacks, tutorials and other design inspiration videos, then make sure you click that subscribe button and also don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified every time that I post a new video. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this tutorial and we're going to be using Photoshop 2021 for this and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is create yourself a uh, document. So we're going to do, uh, I'm going to do my classic 3840 by 4800 Insta preset size and we're just going to create that. So we're also going to chain, uh, give the, the art border name, shiny text effect. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is because we're going to be working with some white colors and some uh, strokes and stuff like that, we want to make the background black, otherwise we won't be able to see all the effects we're working with. You can change the background at the end, but just so we can see the effect clearly, let's start with a black background. So I'm going to take that layer, I'm going to choose black um, over on my color picker, and then I'm just going to uh, use the paint bucket just to fill that in with black. So the next step is to add ourselves a text layer. So we're gonna go down to the plus icon down in the bottom right here, and then we're gonna to go to T on the keyboard, and then we're gonna hit uh, that in the center of our artboard, so our text layer appears. And then we're gonna make that white. And now what we're gonna do is just find ourselves a font that works. Now, when it comes to like shiny text, stuff like this, and because it's quite glossy and kind of 3D, I like to use kind of script fonts. Um, so I've been using something called Mr. Defoe Pro, which is available on Adobe Fonts, and this has been a great font for me to use for this type of effect. So we're just going to make the size how we want it, and then what I'm going to do is just type in something like shiny, just to give an idea of how this is going to look. So I get that way you want it. We can move this around later on, it's not crucial that we have this, the 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 placement right or the kind of composition right we can use this later on if we need to uh, we can adjust this so just just put it in the middle and we'll start working from there so now the next step is to add some color so choose your color you're going to use you can tweak this later on but this is just easier to start with this for now so i'm going to go with a kind of red you want to use a very saturated color because the way that the effect works it kind of looks 3d shiny glossy so you want a nice saturated color. Um, so I've always found like a dark red, kind of pinky red works pretty well. And then we're just gonna select that. So now we've got this text in the color we want and we're gonna get started on adding some effects. So the first effect that we're gonna add is we're gonna double click on our text layer. We're gonna go down to bevel and emboss. And then I've got this set to inner bevel, smooth, with a depth of about 84%. Size is about 54, soften is 9, and then the contour for the gloss is just a straight line. So it's the first one when you look in here, that's the first one you see. Then I've got highlight mode set to normal and shadow mode set to normal too, and both of those up to 100%. And my shadow's not exactly black, it's more kind of like a gray. So those are the effects you want to do, and this is what it's going to look like. It's going to look like it's got some highlights and some uh, shadows, but the whole thing's kind of matte. So once you've done that, click OK. So now we can see it's kind of got that 3D effect, it's kind of shiny, but it's not very glossy. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make sure that we have the color from our text up here. We're gonna copy that color here, and we're gonna make sure that that is, uh, if you go down to the color picker on the left here, that's our shadow color. So put that in there. So now what it should look like is you'll have white and you'll have shadow color. So making, making sure it's that way around, so white there and red there, we're gonna go to filter, filter gallery. We're gonna convert this to a smart object, it's gonna show that prompt. And then we're gonna go to style uh, sketch and then down to stamp. And so now you can see that it's just kind of made this 2D. So it's showing the red and it's showing the white. And so you can see we can adjust this, we can show how much kind of shine we want to it. What I'm actually gonna do is just show you how you can alternate these two. So say if you want the red where the white is and the white where the red is, what we're gonna do is go back out of here, 
switch these two around and then go back to filter, filter gallery, convert to smart object. And then we're gonna choose that again. So stamp. And now we've got the white on the top. And that's how I'm gonna use for this. Um, this is what I'm gonna use for this example. So kind of bring the light dark balance so that we've got a little bit of white around the edges, but it's not too, there's, there's more red than there is white. Uh, so I've got it set to 48 here and then smoothness. Let's go with five. So click OK. And now we can see that this looks 2D more than 3D. And this is where we want it to be. So now that we've done that, we're going to right click on this layer, click convert to smart object. So we're just making sure that everything's packaged up nicely. So now what we're going to do is double click on the text layer and then we're going to add an inner shadow. Now the way this works is we want to create this kind of like curved 3D effect. And so we're going to use the inner shadow and we're going to use a lighter color around the edges to kind of get that curve. So you want to choose a red or whatever color you're using. You want to choose a less saturated version of that. So we go to a color picker. We'll paste the original color we had. It should just still be in your clipboard, Command V. And then now what we're gonna do is go down to saturation here, to the S, and we're gonna just bring that down. And you'll start to see it kind of looks curved because we've got the light on the edges and then the dark in the middle. Click OK. I've got the opacity set to like 60%. Um, I've got the distance set to zero, choke set to zero, and then size is set to 103. I may just adjust that slightly. something like that. And then I've got the contour down here set to kind of curve. So that is the, the bottom left one there. So click OK. And so now you can see it's starting to look a little bit more shiny, a little bit more how we want it to look. So right click again. And then we're going to double click on it one more time. And then we're going to go to stroke. And then now we're going to add the same color that we had before in the middle we're going to add that to the edges and this is where it really starts to come together. So click OK and then my stroke is going to be around 10 pixels here. Uh, and it's going to be in the center and the opacity is going to be um, 100%. So now you can see that it's kind of got the, the shiny parts. I've now got like red either side so it looks more 3D than it did before. And so you can put this on any background pretty much and it's going to show up and look really cool. So that's kind of the basic effect. If you want to keep it 2D, you can do it like this. If you want to make it look less kind of effecty and just have it as the text, this is how you do it. But we can go an extra step further and start to make this glow slightly. So if you create, turn that back into a, uh, turn it into a smart object, and then we're going to go click on that layer and go Command J and duplicate that. We'll go up to Filter. We'll go down to Blur, Gaussian Blur, and then now we can kind of make this kind of blurry as well, which looks cool. Like that. And then we'll just try some blend modes out here and you can start to see how cool this looks. So we'll go to lighten and then we'll make that, we'll select both of those layers and we'll convert that into a smart object like so. And so now you've got this cool, glowy, glossy, shiny 3D text effect, really easy in Photoshop and it's just a few steps. So let me know what you think about this effect in the comments. If you're going to make a graphic using this effect, then tag me on Instagram at Design by Ruben. I'd love to see what you guys create. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like. It really does go a long way to helping this channel and consider subscribing for plenty more videos like this to come. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.